welcome to our short little Change for Life Sunderland um, video. This is going to be based around kind of stretching, mobility, um, a little bit of mindfulness and breathing. So you can do this wherever you want. You could do it as part of your, your kind of at your school uh, class. You could do it at home. Um, you can do it while you're getting your online teaching. Um, so lots of places and times when you can pick to do this. It's only going to be short, but it's going to take you through a, a range of kind of movements, movement patterns, some flows, and just getting in touch with kind of your breathing and how our body can move. So it's nice and chilled, nice and relaxed. Um, a nice little bit of soft background music there. So if you do enjoy it, great, give me a thumbs up. Um, but just switch off, just follow my movements and uh, yeah, just nice and relaxed and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll have a good session, okay? So if I can ask you all now just to stand up nice and tall, okay? Find a nice comfortable position, okay? So feet about hip width apart and all I want you to do just nice and easy is just to slowly rock forwards and backwards. Maybe close those eyes and then come to a stop in a position you feel happy and comfortable. Now we're going to focus a little bit on our breathing. So a nice deep breath in through the nose. And out through the mouth. In through the nose. And out through the mouth. Really fill those lungs. In through the nose and out through the mouth. In and out. One more time at your own pace. Okay, slowly flicker those eyes open. Excellent. And just remember, as we're doing these movements, big deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Okay. So all we're going to do to start with, okay, feet about hip width apart. Okay. And all I want you to do, breathe in through the nose. And as you breathe out, just slowly reach down. Just go as far as you feel, and then back up. Down. And back up. Down. back up. Down to the floor, or as low as you can, and back up. Okay, next one, we're going to reach for the ceiling or the sky. Okay, so big breath, uh, breath in, reach it down, and back up. Reaching for the sky, okay. Down and sky. One more time. Reaching down and up to the sky. Excellent, okay. The next one, we're gonna do a little downward dog. So, hands on the floor, okay. Take a few steps back. Head goes through arms, and I just want you to pedal those feet. So lift the heels, and then push the heels down. Remember, nice control, breathing in through the nose, and out through the mouth. Looking at those toes. Excellent and then walk yourself back 
end up. Okay? The next thing we're going to look at is a lunge. So just take a nice big step forward with any foot you like. Drop the back knee and pause here. Remember breathing through the nose and out through the mouth. Give those hips a little push forward if you want to feel the stretch a bit more. And if you want to take it a little bit further, a little twist over that front leg. And if that's feeling really easy, can you take a hold of the back foot? Three more breaths. Okay, and release. Change sides. So leg back, other leg forwards. And just get your balance here. Push the hips forward. Get nice and grounded. Feel the stretch on the front of the hips. And focus on that breath. Again, to make it more challenging, twist over. Or catch a hold of that back leg. Three more breaths. Okay. From there, guys, all we're going to do is put our hands on the floor, okay, and slowly. Walk to this position here, okay? So from the front, we're in this position, hands on the floor, drop to one side. I'm just gonna hold this position for five breaths. feels quite easy going and you want to make it more challenging, you can lean over. Either your knee or lean over your toes. Okay, but if that's comfortable for you, you just stay there. Okay, from there guys, pull that foot in nice and close, and with this back leg, swing it over. So you're gonna tie yourself in a nice little knot, keeping that body upright, and remember to focus on that breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. So you get a nice little stretch around the hips, the back side. Okay, from there, if you unravel yourself, and we'll do the other side. So remember, we start in this position here, so that nice lunge stretch there. 
hands in front and you walk yourself down yeah so it should be like this hands on the floor for support and hold this stretch here remember to increase it leaning over the knee or the foot that's good for me there From there, pulling that foot closer, swinging the leg around, and tying yourself in that nice little knot. Trying to keep yourself as upright as possible. And remember that breathing pattern. Okay guys, from there, legs come out in front, okay, trying to keep those legs as straight as possible, you're going to reach for those toes, okay, if that's you there, just stay there, if that's as far as you feel you can go, if your hamstrings or the back of your legs are quite tight, you just hold here, if you can touch the tip toes, fantastic, that's you there. Okay, that's a bit uncomfortable. You can place your hand behind your calves and lean forward a touch. That might be a bit more comfortable. And from there, guys, take the legs out nice and wide and lean across to one side. Feel that you can go as low as you feel possible to, if that's you there. That's comfortable for you, you stick here. If you can get your chest, your head close to the leg, slowly reaching down. Reaching over to the other side. Remember breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Excellent guys, okay, so that's been stretching the lower part of our body, the hips, the fronts of the thighs, the backs of the thighs. Now we'll have a little look at the upper body, okay? So this is called a scorpion stretch, okay? Now what we're gonna do here, I'll show you from two different angles. We're gonna lie down flat on our front, okay? Hands out wide. Lift the right leg and let it just fall over the body like that then let the arm follow so you end up looking at the ceiling okay from the front hands out wide lift the leg over the body and follow. Okay. 
and back down. Change sides, up, over, up, and follow. To be uncomfortable, you can just stick with this movement here. Okay, from the side. Up. If that's good for you, you stick there. If you can go all the way down and follow. Okay, from there. Hands out, so this is our child's pose. Sit the hips and bum back onto the heels and reach those arms forward. Drop the head through the arms. Okay, that's a nice little stretch underneath the armpits there, the back muscles, the shoulders. Okay. For now, sit down nice and comfortable. Fold the legs or cross the legs. Hands in that prayer position. Keep that body nice and tall or as tall as you can. Just close the eyes and focus once more on that breathing. So in through the nose. And out through the mouth. Take three seconds to breathe in through the nose. And out through the mouth. In. and out. In. And out. Once more. In. And out. Keeping those eyes closed. Just think about everything that's going on in your life at the moment. It might be busy, it might be full of different thoughts and feelings, and emotions. But just take this time to release those thoughts. This is all about you and your body and how you feel. And just being at one with yourself, okay? Being relaxed, being calm, not worried, not stressed. You're doing it for your own reasons. Just a little bit of time for your mind to wander where it wants to wander. Give those toes a little wiggle. 
Give the fingers a little wiggle. Open your eyes. And thank you for taking part in this session. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're feeling a little bit looser. <laughs> you feel your muscles are, are stretched a little bit. You feel a little bit more mobile and a bit more relaxed. Okay, thank you for taking part. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up and we'll come bring you some more videos like this. Okay, but for this session, thank you. Namaste.